All right. So for this problem, it says r cubed plus 3r squared minus 54r. And it just says to factor it, right? That's all it says is to factor it. There's no equation sign. There's no solving. You don't need to worry about finding the solutions. It's just factoring. So ladies and gentlemen, when you're looking into that, you need to start thinking again and remind yourself, you know, what exactly is our factoring asking us to do? If I say factor the, equa if I say factor the number 6, you guys remember doing like factoring trees? Right? Maybe, kind of, hopefully. You could do like 3 times 2, right? You could write down your factor trees. Yeah. And what we did was, well, 6 is not a good one, but let's do uh, 12, OK? Dustin, I, it's just not needed right now, OK? You can make those comments later. So 12, if we were going to do a factor tree, you could do 6 times 2, and then you break it down again. And what we did, what we talked about factoring is, we wrote it down as a product of its factors, right? The product of the factors are the numbers that multiply together. These are the product of your linear factors. The product of your factors that multiply to give you a number. So ladies and gentlemen, when I say factor a polynomial, that's the same thing. We're going to want to write it down as a product of its factors, all right? So the first thing we always want to do is always look for the GCF. What do they share? If they share something, we can easily factor that out. So we look at them, and they say they all fact share an r. So we factor out an r, left with r squared plus 3r minus 54. Then we look at this, and we say, all right, can we factor this further? Now remember, our factoring technique was to remember we can write it down as two, um, two factors of this. So we say, can we factor this further? And yeah, we look at it, and you could use, again, our diamond if you wanted to, negative 54 and positive 3. But when you factor that, you could say that could be r, uh, let's see, plus 9, r minus 6, factor 4. Now, did I factor this again? Yes. Now let's go back through it again. Does this times this multiply to give you that? No? Yes. And then does this times that multiply to give you that? Yeah. Yes. So these are what we call the factors of this polynomial, because they all multiply to give you this polynomial. Just like these are all factors of 6. Well, we could also do 4 as well, include that. But you could, um, sorry, you could say these are factors of 12. OK? Make sense? Hopefully? Kind of? Not at all. It's just all, remember, factoring just saying we're just writing it as a product. It's just a product of its factors. All this multiplied together gives you that. It's just a way to rewrite this polynomial as a multiplication problem. Look at, here's the polynomial, right? All I did was I rewrote this as a multiplication problem. That's all I did. Good question. If that equals 0, now this times this times this equals 0. They, so that means they all set equal to 0. Yeah. That's different talk. We'll get into that next chapter. You're getting 